The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Yo, this is one of those stories when it's, it's just kind of that same thing of like, damn, Wendy Williams, this is this is harsh, man. You know what? Salute to Wendy Williams. She's a, she's a legend to me. But her consistent criticism of everyone else and she has a morning show and i'm so sick of them, that damn fan base that she got that just claps to any damn thing all right um i never want my subscribers or my loyal people that follow me to ever just clap because they think that uh, everything i say is right nah everything i say may hold me to a standard i'm trying to be right with everything i say but let's make it clear i'm human you know what i mean anyways wendy williams is playing uh, a little bit of a clip of Ashanti's interview with Everyday Struggle. She came up to Everyday Struggle late last week with Joe Budden and Academics. And um, the conversation got put up to the forefront because Ashanti was on stage performing and a guy started throwing money at her. And obviously Ashanti didn't like that because she was performing. She's like, I'm not a stripper. Don't throw money at me. And Wendy Williams, salute to, to Wendy Williams. She talked about it on the show. She was like, you know what? I get the whole bodysuit thing. The difference is that Beyonce can come out or Jennifer Lopez can come out in a bodysuit with a, a thong on and all booty showing and the thigh high boots and the whole bit and nobody's throwing money at her because they understand and respect the hustle. That's the difference, Ashanti. You are a fledgling artist at best. She's 40 something years old at this point and nobody cares about her music. 37, same difference. And I didn't call you a stripper. I called you an exotic dancer and I agree with what Joe's saying. Ashanti, just take it for what it's worth. Uh, nobody's buying your music. Nobody cares about your music. You got a beautiful body, and you're using it to make your bones. And that is just fact, Jack. Damn. Yo, damn, Wendy. Yo, sometimes I feel a certain way, but I just hold it to myself. And I don't even know. Look, Ashanti's got a nice catalog. So I just want Wendy Williams to have that same energy with some of these 40-year-old rappers who got catalog and ain't really making like hot, hot music right now. So let me ask you something. Uh, off the top of the head, I'm just thinking about groups, right? Here's a group that's been hot. They're, they're back together, right? They, they, they've they been away from each other for, for quite some time. Dipset. Yo, are they whack? Like they, they don't got a body that, you know what I mean? They, they're not women. They're not going to go on sta stage and shake ass. 50 Cent, he ain't making hot music right now. Would you say the same thing about 50? I know Wendy and 50 don't get along, but I don't know what she say that, though. Like, I just think there's a, a list of artists who are performing catalog. I'm pretty sure artists that Wendy Williams likes. And, and damn, like, yo, Ashanti's body is a, a, amazing. And it's part of her brand getting hotter right now because of her body. We ain't going to act like that ain't the case. That's one reason why she's as booked. Let's make that clear. But to make it seem like she ain't got a catalog, I thought that was pretty harsh from Wendy Williams. And I still want Wendy Williams to talk about her marriage the same way she talk about everybody else shit. I, I just find that very hypocritical. That you got a husband who got a, a side chick two blocks over in her own house. And you your shit, you, you on everybody else shit, but you refuse to address. I'm cool with you addressing other people's stuff because what am I doing? I'm addressing other people's stuff. But that same energy got to be there for your own situation. Right? I don't know. Y'all got to talk to me in the comment box below. Did Wendy Williams go too harsh on Ashanti? All right, we're grinding to 100K. Please subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. Wendy said, look, if Beyonce and Jennifer Lopez wear that, that one piece, they can do that. They popping. You ain't popping, Ashanti. You can't do that. I just want y'all comments on this one. Talk to me. I thought that was pretty harsh, man. That, God damn, like, sheesh. She's, she's more than a pretty face, right? Talk to me. Comment box below. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.